is Dan Seifert with MobileBurn.com, and recently Google updated their search application for the iPad. Um, Google search application offers a number of different things, including access to various Google services, and the new update to the iPad offers a new interface and a bunch of different new features that make it a bun uh, much easier to use than the older version. So let's take a look. First off, when you first open it up, you're greeted with a standard Google search box. Down at the bottom, you've got buttons to access your history, various Google applications, voice search, and then you can uh, sign in and out uh, in the upper right-hand corner. And you can access a couple uh, settings there if you hit the little cog wheel. If we take a look at the settings, you can see uh, this is new. Google Instant is now on, so you can instantly get results much quicker and easier. Voice search is available. Uh, Google Goggles works if you happen to have an iPad 2. I don't. I'm using an original iPad here, so I don't have a camera. Then you've got some various other uh, feedback and help settings. So let's just do a quick search and see what happens. As you can see, it did give me uh, suggestions there as I was typing. Brings up your search in listing, as we've seen. Pretty typical looking Google search. You can tap, um, let's go back to that. You can tap tabs to access uh, images videos so you get all of our YouTube videos there uh, news related posts things like that what's really cool is if you happen to open a link it shoots out into this tab here which will load up your result in the tab but you can pull the tab over Let's see if it'll do it there we go and you got a side-by-side -side view and you can still scroll through your search results while the other tab is loading. So you kind of can preview your uh, selection. I should switch over to our Twitter, Twitter feed now. There we go. Come on. And then you can see it bounces back and forth there. The new image search results have been improved with a new carousel view. So if we open up our image search results here, we can tap one of them, and then it comes up into this uh, preview mode window box here, and then you can page through the various results like a carousel, which is pretty cool. Very visual way of searching for uh, images, and it um, really lends itself to the larger size of the iPad screen. Now if we scroll over to the from the left to right we can see our history which offers a, a visual view of our history. You can pinch to zoom the various uh, website tiles that you have opened uh, previously. So That's pretty neat. You can also switch to a visual view of your search results see if we can get that there. There we go. And you can page through the various results there. A lot of different fancy animations and stuff like that. Now if we take a look at our results up here, you can see there's a couple different new features. We've got a button to open in Safari or share it by email. There's an integrated plus one button, so you can plus one it on Google+. Plus. And then there's a find on page button, so you can actually search for a phrase directly in the page, which is pretty cool and very useful. And then you can close your tabs like so. If we jump back to the main home screen, we can take a look at our applications that Google gives us quick access to. This is very similar to what we see on the Chrome browser's home page now, or the Chrome OS, if you played with that. It's got quick shortcuts to various Google services, a couple different pages worth, so you can access uh, your calendar quickly and easily. Let's bounce back out. Uh, let's go to say, Google Plus quickly and easily. Of course, it does uh, load the mobile versions of some of these sites, which aren't uh, great for the iPad just yet. So hopefully, Google will improve the formatting for the iPad in the future. Let's see. Take a look at Gmail there. And then gives us a little reminder that we can plus one something. 
Then the last thing that I wanted to show you was the new voice search feature, which is pretty cool. It's similar to what we saw on Siri with uh, the iPhone 4S, but not quite as advanced. But we can do things like weather. There we go. It gave me my local weather right there. So you can do a bunch of different things. You can process your voice uh, searches pretty quickly and easily. So there you go. That's the new Google search app for the iPad. Um, it's pretty impressive and certainly better than anything we've really seen on Android tablets, to be honest with you. Of course, since it is on the iPad, everything is contained within itself, and some people might find it easier to just use the Google search box in the Safari browser. But there are some pretty cool functions to this. It really looks pretty. It works well. Even on this first generation iPad, everything is pretty fast and smooth. And I really like the shortcuts that you can get to to the various Google applications. So there you go. Google search for iOS on the iPad. This is Dan Seifert with MobileBurn.com.